the occasion offers an excuse for a rather romantic trip down memory lane. And St. Men have won the Scottish Cup for the first time since 1926. On come the spectators, all making for Diddy Lapsley. The man no spectator among the 108,000 crowd who witnessed St. Mirren's 1959 Cup win would ever forget it. And the thousands who thronged the streets of Paisley in the torrential rain that night for a victorious homecoming would rate it among the greatest moments in the town's history. Today there's a buzz of anticipation in Paisley High Street as shops join in the pre-match build-up. Black and white has never been so colourful. And one of the town's local papers has swapped black and white for colour this week as a cup final Hamden edition trundles off the presses. The finished version is in stark contrast to the 1962 edition which commemorated Saint's last cup final appearance. But the class of 87 is shaping up well, with youngsters like Lambert and Ferguson playing alongside old hands like Fitzpatrick and McGarvey. Frank McGarvey has already beaten Dundee United in the cup final, wearing different colours. Good drifting ball, it's there, McGarvey! 2-1! Even the great teams like Liverpool couldn't do the doubles and trebles, except for last year right enough. Uh, they found it hard and they had, very, they had excellent players. And Dundee United have got two finals in the space of five days and they've had a long, hard season. So I think they'll find it very difficult. With a new £50,000 sponsorship deal behind them and the open-topped bus already booked for a victory parade, Saints are bubbling with enthusiasm. And although it's been billed as a family final, there will be at least half a dozen animals in the crowd. But what of the new manager, Alex Smith, who steered St Mirren to Hamden in his first season? It's the players with the flair that will win the, that will win the game, and uh, that can possibly go either way. We've seen this week a lot of anticipation in the town about a cup win 25 years after the last appearance. Do you think you'll be bringing the trophy back tomorrow night? Well, I would like to think we would be. Uh, I certainly hope so. Uh, we have a lot of work to do first before we can do that. Uh, uh, but we're confident. We're confident we can bring the cup back. Well, St Mirren's semi-final win over Hearts was their best cup performance. They had earlier conquered in Vaness Cali at home, Morton in Greenock and Wraith Rovers in Kirkcaldy. Dundee United needed a replay at Broomfield to defeat Airdrie before beating Brecon away and Forfar at Station Park after an injury time equaliser at Tannadice in the first match. The semi-final win over Dundee at Tynecastle set up United's Hamden appearance. As Dundee United approached the end of a long, hard season and the first of two cup finals within four days, manager Jim McLean has been able to name all his top players in his squad for tomorrow. It'll be United's 15th visit to Hamden, but they've won only two of their previous games there, and they were both replays of semi-finals. In 1974, 81 and 85, United lost Scottish Cup finals. And in 1981 and 1984, they lost twice to Rangers in League Cup finals. Both the defeats by Rangers involved men who are now in the United squad. In 1981, Ian Redford, who's played such a major part in United's European run this season, brought their downfall when he scored a last-minute goal. Hegarty, there's Redford, tries a chip, and it's there! Redford, a brilliant goal! Three years later, it was the turn of the man who is now United's star striker, Ian Ferguson. His goal for Rangers brought yet another Hamden defeat for the Dundee side. Dawson to Cooper, controlled it very well, here's Redford. Ferguson scores! One nothing for Rangers. On top of this, St Milne are often considered to be United's bogey team. But Jim McLean remains confident that the record books will be proved wrong. Well, I think that uh, the criticisms are uh, there if you look at the record books. And uh, there's no doubt that we're all disappointed with uh, uh, several performances at uh, Hamden in particular. But uh, to me, records are there to be broken. And uh, there's no doubt in my mind that uh, if I was a betting man, I definitely wouldn't bet against Dundee United this year because they've showed grit and determination in Barcelona and Spain and in other places that uh, that's exactly all we need at Hamden. And as I said earlier, uh, I would uh, have a wee bet on Dundee United this season. About 10,000 United fans are expected to make the trip to Glasgow tomorrow, all hoping...